good morning guys today i'm going to talk to you all about habit setting creating good habits for yourself setting a good schedule for yourself like your morning routine nightly routine and stuff like that so that's why i brought you along this morning so this morning i got up around 6 30 it is now 11 o'clock i just ended up finishing getting ready for the day and i'm gonna head to work and start really working today so let's do that for a couple of hours and then i will check back in with you guys and we'll talk all about habits before I do anything else, I have to get a matcha. My hands are freezing, so I want a warm matcha today. And then I'm gonna start my essential oil. So let's start with the matcha. And we're gonna go lazy. Lazy style today. I'll do this one. It is so cold here in Rochester. Hello, oh, there you are. Gorgeous. If you guys are curious how I make my matcha, I will actually show you once my water comes out of the microwave. Okay. First up, I like to measure my water. I don't know if you can see that line right about there. I get about that much water, so I still have room for milk. Then I'm gonna put like a quarter teaspoon of matcha in here. It depends on how much matcha I want. Um, I might put a half a teaspoon in today, or how much caffeine I want in my body. So I'm just gonna actually just do a heaping tablespoon, or not tablespoon, a heaping quarter teaspoon of matcha. I'm gonna put that right in there. You don't want your water to be boiling because apparently it can burn your matcha, so that's why I microwave it. I don't use it out of the Keurig. It's a rare, rare occasion I use it out of the Keurig, usually, honestly, for photo shoots. I'm going to put in, this is Vital Proteins Collagen. Um, they recommend doing a whole scoop. I already had some of this in my smoothie earlier, so I'm gonna do, I'll use about a quarter of this. That's it. So this is a uh, small immersion blender. I'm gonna just use that. Oh gosh. It's gonna make it really frothy and awesome. I use almond milk because it digests better. It doesn't make my belly as grumbly as normal milk would. So I'm just gonna fill this up and I'm probably gonna do maybe like a third of a cup. I'm not gonna use much because obviously you guys saw my cup is already pretty full. Gonna heat that up for about 30 seconds. Once that is warmed, boom. And that is my matcha for the day. Sometimes I leave more space so that I can have more milk in there and make it more of a latte, actually. But today, I'm just good with that. And then all on the top is all that delicious froth. Oh, that's hot, but that's good. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I just hit that and almost fell over. Woo, okay, we're here. It is much later now. I feel like I got a lot of work done today, yet I still have so much left to do, but I wanted to shoot this with you guys, chat about habit setting. So specifically when it comes to your habits, I really want to talk about identifying good and bad habits as well as habits to set in 2019, like girl boss habits to set for success this year. So I'm sure you already know kind of what a habit is and the difference between a good and a bad habit. And there could be like extreme versions or there could be not so extreme versions. So maybe like biting your nails is a bad habit. Maybe when you don't want to work, you just scroll through your Instagram a lot. That's a bad habit. So you can easily, I say easily break your habits but it's really not that easy if you think about it you can break your habits by forming new good habits that go over those bad habits so instead of scrolling through your phone when you don't want to work make your workspace a no phone space so whenever you get ready to work whether that means you like have your laptop out or maybe you are a youtuber or a blogger and you need to have your camera out or maybe sadly you might need to have your phone out for a little bit of it but that is like only talking on Instagram stories sharing Instagram posts everything else social media wise you can do on your computer so make your workspace a no phone space wherever you are working whether if you're working in your living room working in your home office if you have one if you're working at a coffee shop make that a no phone space and that is just an easy habit that can overwrite that bad one so that is 
my kind of mentality with sharing these habits with you guys that they, is that they can help you in your work ethic. They can help you reach the success that you are going for this year, as well as they might be able to help you overwrite those bad habits that you do have. If there are some habits that you notice are bad habits that you want to change, you can always try to change them in your own way by breaking those habits, realizing why you're doing those habits. And then I honestly think one of the best ways to get over a bad habit is to create a new one in place of it. That's just my personal recommendation, you guys. So let me share some other girl boss habits that you can start in 2019. And the very first one I want to talk about is waking up early. I used to sleep in and I wasn't excited to get out of bed in the morning. Honestly, I would just kind of get out of bed. I would roll into work in my pajamas and I feel like I'm going to throw so many habits at you right here, right now. That was such a terrible thing for me because I didn't separate my sleep time from my work time and I just didn't start the morning off on a good foot. So the very first habit that I think is good to incorporate in 2019 would be to wake up a little bit earlier. I like to wake up around 630. Honestly, these days it has not been happening. Today, Today was the first day that I actually did it in a long time. I feel like the winter season, it's much harder to wake up earlier, but it's just, it is what it is with the sun rising super late here. It doesn't rise until 7.30, so it's like, I don't wanna get out of bed till 7.30, but I know I have to. And I think one of the best ways to wake up earlier is to go to sleep earlier. So I start winding down earlier than probably most people. I like to start winding down around like 8.30, and then I reserve time so that I can like fully fall asleep by 10 o'clock. Wake up at 6.30 and I've got eight and a half hours of sleep if it all plays out well. Then following that, you need to have a good morning routine in place. So if you've never thought about creating a good morning routine, it is said to be one of the things that a lot of successful entrepreneurs or business people have incorporated in their life is a set morning routine. So it's like every morning, they're more motivated to wake up because they have something to look forward to. It's their me time. I don't know, it's like the way that you start your day. If you start your day by rushing off to work and just going to work, if you work from home in your pajamas, or if you actually have to go to work, if you are just rushing in the morning, you're not gonna wanna wake up in the morning, you're not going to enjoy your morning time. So set a good morning routine for yourself. Every single morning, I try to meditate, I try to journal, I try to read, and then I, of course, I exercise, and I just take time for me and could go along with that. One of the things I talk about on my Instagram is showing up in your life and showing up for yourself. When I first started working from home, I had so many people say, oh, that must be awesome. I would love to work in my sweatpants or my pajamas, and I used to do that. I did that for a couple of months and then I realized that it was very unhealthy for me. It did not help me become productive and feel like my best self and show up in my workspace because if I am not dressed up, if I am not looking my best, then I am not feeling my best and that is definitely a problem when it comes to getting my work done and being productive. So I do think it is important to get dressed up. I try to make it a rule that I am not allowed to work unless I am dressed and ready to go that day. Even if that means like my hair and makeup's not done yet, as long as I am dressed, rest and I still feel like I am ready to go, that's all that really matters. So that's a good habit to set this year. And then I briefly touched upon this, but journaling and meditation are two great habits that you can form this year. I absolutely love journaling. I feel like I have been journaling since I was young. I don't even remember what time I was journaling. I feel like it was probably like middle school or high school. I just remember randomly jotting down things here and there. It has definitely become more consistent over the past few years. So last year I had a 2018 journal and that whole notebook was just filled with journal entries from that year. And I have one started for 2019 already. So I think that's a great way to to uncover really what's going on in your mind, figure out what you're really thinking um, and just kind of express yourself. Sometimes it can be hard to express yourself. Maybe you don't want to share these thoughts with other people and you just want to get it out of you. It's very therapeutic to me and it's also meditative. So if you have never meditated before, journaling is a great way to get started. But I also love meditation. I recommend getting started with either the Calm app or the Simple Habit app. I have the Simple Habit app. I haven't used it in a long time, but meditation is a great way to kind of take back control of your mind and understand your thoughts and realize that you have more power over it than you think. Make time for yourself and for some self care. If you own your own business or honestly, if you are working full time and you've got a side hustle, honey, I understand you have a lot to do. It may seem like I just pulled my hair, like you don't have enough time for yourself, but trust me, there is always time for yourself because if you are not good with you, if you are not good at your core, how can you expect to put your best self out there towards your work? 
work and everything that you are doing. So I think it's extremely important to have a good self-care routine. Even if it is just once a week, I try to do a little bit of self-care every single day. And that to me is just exercising. 45 minutes to myself to work on myself. I think that's extremely important or I really love to take baths. I've got a ton of bath bombs right now and I need to take more baths because my bath bombs are collecting. But I like to take baths. I like to do face masks. I like to journaling to me and meditating to me are also a form of self-care because it's the time that I get to spend on myself. So make sure that you're reserving time to spend on yourself at least weekly, but I would say at least like five minutes a day. Take five minutes a day to spend with yourself. It, ugh, it's important, it's so important. A few years ago, I had such a bad relationship with working out. So I used to actually be a swimmer and I swam competitively for, I'm not even sure how many years, but it was a big part of my life and I didn't have to work out on my own because those were my workouts. But once I was on my own and I had left the swimming world, I realized that I just didn't work out at all. And I ended up building a bad relationship with my body and it ended up turning into a bad relationship with my mind. And then there's like so many different levels that go on to that. Exercising now is so extremely important to me. I do not exercise to lose weight. I'm not trying to be a certain size. I'm not trying to look a certain way. I like to work out because the way it makes me feel. Sure, the changes in my body and like the muscle tone and stuff like that, of course, I like. I like it a little bit, but that's not the main reason why I work out. I work out because the mental clarity that it provides me. I think that working out is extremely important to release those endorphins. It definitely does make me happier. It makes me focus throughout the day and it also reserves the time that me time where I am just working on myself for even just a little bit of time so I really like working out and I think it's a great habit to have as well as drinking lots of water drinking lots of water is extremely important to me if I don't have enough water I tend to get headaches so I think it's a really good habit to have to drink at least 64 ounces of water a day I honestly can drink I drink a lot of water I don't even know how much water. You guys know my Starbucks cup? I can drink sometimes six of those a day. It's a lot of water. Six times 24, that's a lot of water. Make time to brainstorm and work on big picture things in growing your blog or your business. If you, again, have your blog as a side hustle or maybe your blog full time, it is easy to only work on keeping your blog consistent, keeping your blog active. So creating blog posts, sharing Instagram posts, responding to emails, writing emails, it's very easy to keep it status quo. It's harder to focus on, okay, how am I going to level this up and brainstorming the next idea that you need to have. So that is creating paid products, working with brands, finding out how you can get like more page views to your blog, maybe more followers on Instagram. All that stuff is so important and you need to be focusing on how you can level up your blog or your business. So I think it is extremely important that you make time to brainstorm. And then the very last tip I have for you is to make a to-do list at the end of every single day. And if you forget to do it at the end of every day, make sure you do it every single morning. It's going to help you to be extremely productive every single day as well as it's just gonna keep you focused. It's gonna give you focus and it helps you to feel accomplished. Once you cross off something on your to-do list, like make a physical to-do list is what I'm talking about. When you cross something off your to-do list, you feel more accomplished and you feel more motivated to get more and more done. So I highly recommend you make a to-do list. I like doing it the night before so that way when I get up in the morning, I'm not stressed trying to figure out what I need to do. I am just working on myself in the morning. I take my time and as soon as I get to work, I know what is already laid out ahead of me, what I've gotta do. So I hope you like this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys back here in another video very soon bye guys <gasps> don't do that someone just called me and we really interrupted our conversation and now i don't know where i was are you okay oh my god <laughs> just no. oh baby i'm so sorry that scared you this new tripod trying to figure it out is hysterical. Yeah. This is an end.